Hey, I've got a good question that I'm going to answer today, one that I'm sure a lot of you will be interested in. How do I get my artwork noticed? Now, this is a funny one because often people feel really shy about sharing their work when they're just starting out. So, you know, you have the desire to show it and you also have the desire not to show it, two uh, counter intentions. So there's a few really simple tricks that you can use to get past this point and I'm going to share them with you. So listen up. Okay, I'm also going to share a great success story that happened uh, out of um, following some of these tips. Okay, so um, you want to share your artwork, but you're feeling shy. Okay, I can't take away the shyness, but you just need to realize that the world's a friendly place. Sure, you might get a friend who's a bit surprised that you've become an artist and they might have a few quips for you, but give them time to get over it and they'll still be your friend. Um, realize that not the rest of the world's like that and that, um, whoops, I've accidentally turned you around to my kitchen. Not the rest of the world's like that. And um, we, you know, the world's waiting to see what you've got. Um, when you want your art artwork noticed, it's not necessarily about peddling your work and make, making people buy it, uh, trying to sell it, because it often doesn't happen that way. It's more about people are gonna be attracted to it once they see it. So if you're hiding your work out in your studio and you're not sharing it, then the problem is nobody gets to know about it. It's the best kept secret in the world. So the difference between a rich artist and a poor artist who may both be producing the best work, uh, the rich artist has managed to uh, get over their shyness and get out there and share their work. Now, there's a number of ways to do this so that you don't mumble and look at the ground all the time when people are talking to you about your stuff. Um, you know, get, get your favorite artwork and one that's fairly representative of what you think you're gonna be painting and whack it on a business card. Um, have a whole image so you don't have to stand there and try and describe and map it out in words and paint in airspace what your paintings are. Just simply show um, your business card and straight away people go, oh wow, that's so cool. And that feels great for you and also helps you to build that reality that you're an artist when you're just starting to share your work. Um, another great one is get the work out there. One of my students, she actually... Um, she was really shy about her work. She'd only just started with me, done some incredible work because the accesses that I have, Jacqueline Coates, Blooms Painting Workshops and Make Money From Art program and also in America, Paint Blooms USA. Uh, she was in my Make Money From Art program in Australia, a very shy, uh, had done great work and she, her friend, her friend who's an interior designer saw, saw their work and she said, do you mind if I put that in my shop window? Um, and so she did and then she also put the shot of her shop window on Instagram. Somebody internationally saw that photo and got in contact with a lady with a shop and who then said, can you give me the details of that artist because I really want to invite them to do a range of prints on canvas that sells across the world. So within the first two months of uh, doing a program with me, she was already uh, then working on a series to go uh, out globally and where she was gonna receive royalties and get to keep the artwork. So no loss, all gain, and a wonderful opportunity to share her, her work and what she does. So just so exciting. So get it out there, share it, um, put it on your walls and make sure that when you have friends over, you stand in front of your work so it can't be missed. Don't stick it in the toilet, the garage, stack behind a door, put it on the wall. And if it's something annoys you about the work, go and change it until, it until it's to your liking and then you don't mind sharing it. Um, my advice is try not to, to give the work away. There's lots of your friends who want to take it off you and while you're uh, sense of self-worth as an artist is low you may be tempted because you're thrilled to have any appreciation and you're afraid to take the next steps so another great one is to stick it into a local competition there's loads of local art competitions run by various societies in Australia we have the Rotary Clubs who'd have uh, art shows we have the schools use them for uh, fundraising and I know many artists who've built uh, successful sales careers based on people coming back year after year to, to snap up the work because the works disappear quickly and people want more and uh, you also get recognition you get things like um, uh, artist merits or prizes and these things you can add to your CV all of the experiences of um, exhibiting you can add to your CV as well so Look, the main thing is don't be frightened, get out there, have a go and share it and try and share it in places that don't cost you anything to share them um, in a shop window or, um, you know, in a cafe. 
Cafe's not the most ideal selling environment, but you can put a little blurb on the table, on each of the tables that you laminate, and people can learn more about you and your work. And uh, you know, it's a great way just to share and get out there. So I hope you've in, enjoyed my tips today um, about you know how do I start sharing my work as an artist? Well, get over yourself and get it out there. And don't worry, enjoy the celebration. Understand that this is a time of growing for yourself and that it is time to do things differently. Otherwise, you're gonna get the same results as you always did, okay? We want new results, we want different things to happen, we want to engage, we want to meet other people. Don't worry about what other people think. Um, in the words, of, I'm just trying to think of her name, Susan something or other, she wrote this great book, bestseller in America, What You Think of Me is None of My Business. Um, and uh, it's a really great one to tie on, to just to you know, snip that mind going busy on what other people are thinking about you. You don't know what other people are thinking. Maybe you're inspiring them to get off their butts and do something too. So I'm wishing you the best of luck with sharing your work. Get it out there, share it. Put one on your office desk. Put Hang one in your office. There's a whole tribe of people right there who are gonna come to learn about your work by doing that. Okay, thanks for sharing and, and thanks for listening. And I hope that that's helped you to get going. Give me some of your info below. I'd love to hear your stories. Bye.